Yep, here I am. So let's kick it off. So hello there, node operators, community call listeners. Today we will talk about the recently proposed LIDAR community staking module, also known as CSM. My name is Dmitry, but as you probably noticed, I'm not the Dmitry that you're looking for. And um, yep, I'm Dmitry Chernuhin and I'm also a community staking team contributor. I think the best way to start our journey toward the CSM is by LIDAR's mission. To make staking simple, secure, and decentralized. Among a wide variety of ways leading to this mission lies one that me and other LIDAR contributors find extremely valuable. It is community stakers' participation in the LIDAR protocol. By community stakers, we mean independent individuals or groups running validators while being aligned with the firm goals and values whose primary motivation is not financial. So introducing LIDAR community staking model. A staking router model made for community stakers by community stakers and staking fans with main goal to make LIDAR validator set permissionless and accessible for everyone. We want to make CSM the best permissionless option for community stakers. During the design stage, we focused on three key values. First, reduce barriers to entry, since Ethereum solo staking today is a challenging task, both from the, an economical and technical perspective. Next, improve Ethereum's resilience by bringing new dependent operators to the Ethereum network. And make solo validation more profitable because at the end of the day, we all need to pay bills. Now let's take a closer look at the main CSM features, starting with design. Without any doubt, permissionless entry is the main CSM design feature. Anyone will be able to join Light Validator set with no strings attached. But is it enough to offer permissionless entry to make solo staking simple? Of course not. Most community stakers already use amazing tools for Ethereum validator setup preparation. So why should we ask them to use another one? Instead, we aim to offer integration with as many well-known software and hardware providers as possible. Now let's talk about Bond. In CSM, Bond will be a node operator property. Hence, the more validators the node operator has, the more coverage available for a single validator incident. With that in mind, we believe the bond requirements can be reduced for the second and further validators. This feature is usually referred to as a non-linear bond. And since node operators in CSM have to log the bond to upload new validator keys, it seems reasonable to allocate stake to these keys in the same or a similar order as the operators upload them. Five nines efficiency can hardly make Ethereum more resilient compared to 97 or even 95%. That's why rewards will be distributed between CSM operators using performance oracle using a threshold algorithm. Node operators showing performance above the threshold will get socialized rewards in this frame, while the others won't get rewards at all. This approach will provide a leeway for small performance outages while ensuring that low performance remains economically unfeasible. Now it's time to move on to the CSM features that I find to be really cool. And the first one is a low bot. It's hard to more comment much on it. The bond requirement will be as low as possible, given the latest state of Ethereum and market conditions. Right now, the 4 if option seems to be safe with the possibility of moving to the 2 if options one, once the EAP7002 release date becomes clear. Do you remember the first point in the light emission? Right, make staking simple. Operator UX should definitely be simple and easy. With CSM, it will look like the following three steps. Prepare validation setup, submit deposit data and bond, and finally run validator and claim rewards. That's it. 
UX UX simplification will not only make it easier to use CSM, but also make it cheaper. With fewer operation required, gas fees will hardly exceed typical interaction with the average DeFi application, making it affordable for anyone. Ethereum's researchers do their best to overcome the extremely volatile nature of MEV. While MEV burn seems like a good solution, it is relatively far from implementation. How LIDA can help community stakers here? You guess it, by offering MEV smoothing across the whole LIDA validator set. Any MEV extracted by LIDA validators will be evenly distributed across all the staking models including CSM. Now the coolest feature. There will be no additional tokens required as a bond. Only if. We do believe protocols should not add new variables to the Ethereum staking equation if they can. Hence, from the very first day of CSM, only if or STIF will be required as a bond to create CSM validators. Well, it looks like we're done with the features. What's next? Here is the approximate timeline of the CSM development in the case of DAO approval. We hope to have CSM live on the testnet in the middle of the next year and on the main end by the end of the 2024. And like Steve Jobs used to say, one more thing. CSM team wants to say huge thanks to Florian from HomeNode and the whole eBunker team for their help and support in the production of the first ever LIDAR boxes. They look awesome, right? Well, now that you know about CSM, do not hesitate to learn even more and to express your opinion in the comments on the proposal you will find in this QR. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dimitri. That was great.